Remember me? I'd have to lose all the brain cells in my head before I forget something as fine as you. You know I stay pimping the pros. Let's get it. You know it's hard out here for a pimp When he trying to get this money for the rent For the Cadillacs and gas money spent We'll have a whole lot of bitches jumping shit live from the 48205 man welcome to the very first episode of pimping the pros dog. so look if you're just now checking in uh what we're doing tonight is basically this uh i'm, I'm gonna read a piece uh that i've written uh before i get to it though i'm gonna tell you what the influence was and how i came about the piece I'm gonna read the piece and then i'm gonna uh you know give you a little little details on you know what some of the stuff means inside of the piece uh so what's cool about this is an opportunity for every poet um, every writer to go ahead and submit your own work if you want to have your work uh, featured on the show just go ahead and send an email uh, with the audio file of your work to uh, pimpin the pros at gmail.com that's p-i-m-p-i-n t-h-e-p-r-o-s-e at gmail.com uh, so send your uh, work there i uh, send the piece uh, a short description and kind of what your influence was to you know come up on that piece so uh, that's how we go roll. It's going to be a short segment. Just go read some work, give you a little background on it, and uh, hope you enjoy. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, the piece I chose today is called Uptown. All right, And uh, the influence from this piece is basically um, just about uh, the Great Migration. So if you're not hip to the Great Migration, uh, basically it was uh, when people came up from down south, uh, moved up north uh, mainly to uh, Detroit. Uh, to to work in the auto industry because of you know because of the opportunities and because of that a lot of families migrated from down south to up north so that's what made me start really thinking about this and to be quite honest like uh, my granddad was one uh, he actually came up here and he was uh, working at I want to say Dodge Maine so if you're from the Detroit area uh, then you know that's uh, kind of one of the uh, historic plants down here uh, in Detroit. Uh, it wasn't the five dollar a day plant uh, like uh, like Ford was doing, but uh, definitely a start in the automotive industry, and it kind of spurred our family being you know from you know from Detroit because basically my mom and everyone else was from down south, uh, so he moved up here, got a job in the auto industry, uh, made a few dollars and made it a way for my grandma and my mom to actually come up here, so. Uh, that's how it started. And I was thinking about that one day because I was just thinking about my granddad and I just wanted to write some, you know, just some words about, you know, kind of reflective of that great migration. Uh, so again, uh, the name of this joint right now is, uh, Uptown. All right. So Uptown and it's kind of, a. I, I had actually written it when I was, uh, out in Harlem, uh, for, for a summer internship. So it's got some it's got some New York influence to it. But uh I hope you like it. Here we go. Uptown. Them cats is live up there where I'm from. Down south where chickens cluck loud, cars don't rust, but heat chalk them boys up like beef on a Brooklyn street. Sisters live in the shadows of the Schlumberg, still saying brothers ain't shit. 135th and Lennox Sav is her lover. Alabama and Mississippi are long lost loves from the past that haunt her soul. That's that piece, y'all. Alright, so just to uh, give you a little recap on that, um, like I mentioned before, uh, some references to uh, the Schlomberg, uh, which is in there, uh, which is a think tank out in uh, Harlem, uh, 135th and Lennox. Uh, very uh, very prominent corner uh, in Harlem and and the thing is that honestly when I was out there for an internship I actually lived at the Harlem YMCA uh, which is right there on 
135th and Lenox. So that place or, you know, that section of Harlem kind of has a, you know, has a bearing on me, kind of molded me into who I am today. Uh, but just those references to, like, if you go back to that second line before the end where it says uh, 135th and Lenox is her lover and Alabama and Mississippi are long lost loves. So that's just saying, like, basically this is the the new home. And the long lost love was, you know, that that life that we used to live down south. So, yeah. So that's just my uh, my piece right there. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, nothing too long and nothing too deep. Uh, just uh, a few words kind of dedicated to the great migration from uh, from the south to the north. Um, yeah. So that's it. I think it's a pretty dope uh, first piece for you. Don't forget, though, uh, if you do have your own prose or your own poetry, make sure that you do send me an email at pimpintheprose at gmail.com. That's P-I-M-P-I-N-T-H-E-P-R-O-S-E at gmail.com. So make sure you uh, send us out some uh, some work and we'll uh, we'll play your, your audio version uh, right here on the show so you can be featured on one of the days. So we're going to be getting down on Tuesdays and Thursdays, usually around 8.30. Uh, it'll be available on YouTube, uh, iTunes, Spotify, all the places that you stream your favorite podcast. Um, and then actually in a few weeks, we're going to have we're going to have a special section uh, and it's going to. Well, you know what? I'm not going to give it away. I'm just going to let you guys hang out and uh, see what's coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but we will be back on Thursday. So make sure that you do send that work. And I'll be also, you know, reading some of my work as well. Uh, but send yours. And, and actually, I think Thursday we're going to have a uh, we're going to have a couple selections from uh, one single roles. All right. So uh, make sure you check that out. Uh, we're going to have her on here. She's uh, sent some audio files already. So we're going to have her featured on the Thursday show. And that could be you. So go ahead and send your emails. Once again, that's pimping the pros. P-I-M-P-I-N-T-H-E-P-R. O-S-E at gmail.com. All right. So uh hope you enjoyed it, man. You can go ahead and go about your life right now and finish quarantining because that's what we're doing now. And uh, also, don't forget tomorrow night or I'm sorry, tomorrow morning, rather. Uh, make sure you tune in to eBlock Radio. And that's going to be at eBlockRadio.com for the Wake and Bake Show uh, with me, Monk Money, and my homeboy, Angry Man. So make sure you tune in tomorrow and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right. Well, till the next time, man, you already know what it is. This is Pimpin' the Pros. We're talking about poetry and pros. P R O S E. <laughs> till the next time, y'all. It's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. Peace out, y'all.